Hello, it's Sasa here, and today in this sewing tutorial, I'm going to share how I make my Kiki head bow. So you need to cut three pieces of fabric. The measurements are right there. I use a thick poly cotton type of fabric. You also need a metal headband or a headband that you want to cover, as well as thick interfacing. It's a paper-like stiffener. There's one centimeter seam allowance for everything. For the center tube, you fold it in half and you sew it down, and then you sew off one of the ends. I open up the tube so that the seam is in the center back. You're going to turn this right side out with the help of a stick or a chopstick. You're going to measure a piece of interfacing and fold that in half. You're going to place this inside the tube. When you wrap the center piece around the bow, the interfacing stops the center from crunching up. I tuck the ends in and sew it shut with the machine. Since this is a short piece, I'm able to sew this without ironing beforehand. First you fold in the end and then you fold in the two sides so that they touch together and then fold in half. You start by sewing the end and then you sew straight. I fold the fabric tube as I go along. For the large bow part, you fold it in half and we're going to sew it together and you want to leave an opening around the center. Open up the tube so that the seam is at the back and sew off the two ends completely shut. And now you flip it right side out. Through the opening, you place some stuffing. This will help keep the bow, keep its shape, stays more firm and sits nicely on top of your head. I squeeze it to test how much stuffing I need to put and I continue adding more until I'm happy with the look. I sew the opening shut with the machine. If you feel more comfortable, you can do this part by hand. Place the headband into the tube. Make sure it doesn't twist. Make sure it's not too loose. Clean up the ends, fold it under twice, and then hand sew it shut. So I wiggle it to make sure that the stuffing is on the sides and nothing is in the center part because it will get it too thick if it gets in the middle. So I fold it a couple of times until I'm happy with the look. Normally the top and bottom I like to fold inwards towards the back. So you find the middle of the top of the headband and be careful sometimes it's bent strangely so you want to watch out for that. So I place the headband in the bottom fold of the bow. And now you hand sew the bow to the headband. So you take your centerpiece and wrap it around the bow. And you're going to sew these two ends together. And when you sew it, only sew the tab together first.
After you sew the tab together, check the front and adjust it. You may need to move it left or right until it looks nice. And then once it's ready, go back to the back and sew the tab to the bow part. This way it won't move around. Please tag me if you use this tutorial so I can see your awesome work. Thank you for watching!